Hey you guys, Beth Patati here and today we are going to do this tutorial. So this is just a cute little cat makeup for Halloween. Um, my work is actually, I work at Sephora as you guys know and during the week of Halloween we do a lot of themes. Today's theme is animals. So I wanted to take a couple of different styles of makeup and kind of mash them together. So this look is a combination of like Nako makeup and actual cat makeup. So for those of you who don't know, Neko literally just means cat in Japanese but it's a kind of a type of character in anime. Um, they typically tend to be really, really cute featured and then have little cat ears. Um, I wanted to do kind of pulls and some of the influence from that, but then also do something more true cat. So I ended up with this. Uh, I used more of the Neko style eye with uh, kind of the little Neko like teeth and things like that, but then the anatomy of it is a little more accurate. So it's meant to be really, really easy and something that you could do on Halloween night, um, but not so complicated that it's uncomfortable to wear, um, but not so simple that nobody knows what you are. So hopefully you guys like this one and let's get started with the tutorial. Don't stop. Don't 
wondering the ears actually came from the dollar spot at Target they were one dollar and I have been wearing them around and the cats have accepted me as one of their own <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later happy Halloween so I've been at work all day now and um, I ended up actually drawing my things a little bit longer so what I wanted to show you is one more way to do this mouth. Um, what I'm going to use is actually a bright pink cream lip stain. Uh, this particular one is number eight, which I believe is called Whipped Blush from Sephora Collection. Um, you can use anything that's going to dry down matte and kind of stay in place, or you can use a regular lipstick if you want to. Um, and all I'm going to do is actually make more of a mouth. So the first thing I'm going to do is grab my Perversion Liner again and go ahead and draw out where I want the mouth to be. So just something like that, nothing too crazy specific. You can set it with um, black eyeshadow if you wanted to make it stay better. Um, I'm not that worried about it because I'm at the end of my day. And then we're gonna apply this. Um, I'm probably gonna have to use a brush. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one now that I can use and we're gonna go ahead and put this on. I have to sneeze. Uh, I leaned out of frame. So that is going to be an alternative way to do the mouth. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.